kiss my heart on fire Burning with a strange desire Your hearts on fire too. Elvis, my boy, good to see you. We came here to Graceland Manor as soon as we could. Oh, huh. Colonel, my manager, and Larry, my hairdresser, and spiritual advisor. I really need to talk to you guys. I'm having a midlife crisis here. Come on in and sit down. Where's Ginger? She's been looking fabulous these days. Oh, she was tired. She went to sleep, which is just as well, because, uh, I don't think she'd understand what's happening to me. And what is happening to you? I saw your last concert. You were not looking well. Well, first off, uh, I haven't had a BM for like a week. I feel all bound up and tight, like Dom DeLuise in a wetsuit. Well, have you been eating healthy? Oh, sure. I, I try to make sure all four food groups are in there. We got uh, meat, all cheese, donuts, and prescription pills. Well, that sounds right. I wonder what else it could be. Have you tried an enema? I uh, saw one of those at a zoo one time. No, silly. It's where we take warm, soapy water and we squirt it up your hiney hole to try to get things moving up there. Oh, well, now, Larry, I've already discussed this with you. I love you and I respect your lifestyle, but, uh, you know, I, I just don't swing that way, uh huh? I promise it's not a sex thing, it's a medical thing. I'll make sure your doctor gives you some laxative. I know you're already on about 14 different prescription drugs. Well, I'm sure one more can't hurt. Thanks, Colonel, but that's not the worst of it. It's all the fame. I'm being handled constantly by groupies and by tabloids, and I want my fans to think the best of me, so I always gotta be on guard to look my best. But it's so much pressure. Well, easy. I can double your bodyguard so no one can see you. No, that's not it. I miss being a normal person with a regular life. I want to walk down the street again and Go to a store without being mobbed by crowds, uh-huh. Unfortunately, that's the price of fame, Elvis. The spotlight will always be on you no matter where you go. Oh, but can't you see? It's killing me. I hate it. I want my life back. Oh, my belly just shifted. Uh, I'll be back in a few minutes, fellas. Oh, come on, baby. Let me tender. Don't be cruel. My gosh, <laughs> Colonel. What can we do? I've never seen him like this. It's now or never. I've got an idea, but he's got to be willing to walk away from everything and everyone he knows and loves. Sounds dramatic. What is it? Well, let's just wait for him to get back, and then I'll say. Oh, gosh. Oh, sorry, fellas. Uh, I'm back. Any luck? Nope, but I think uh, I popped a blood vessel in my forehead. Good lord, Elvis. You look like you might pass out. Are you okay? I'll be fine. You guys have any ideas? Yes, but it's a big step. I'm ready to do whatever it takes. I suggest that we fake your death. We come up with a believable story of your untimely demise, and then we change your appearance, and then we set you up in a new place with a new life, a normal life. It's kind of like the Witness Protection Agency. Precisely. Well, what do you think, Elvis? Well, I like it. But uh, only if I can die of something cool. Uh, like what? How about this? Well, let's say I was attacked by a hundred ninja assassins, and I used my karate skills to wipe out 99 of them, but that last one got in a lucky shot. Ooh, exciting. Yes, but totally unbelievable. You see, it has to be somewhat believable. Maybe an illness, like uh, cancer or a stroke or something. No, no way, that's pussy shit. How about this? I'll sacrifice myself to keep a busload of cheerleaders from falling in a ravine. Oh, there goes my stomach again. I'll be right back. Come on now, we're gonna jam to the shithouse rock. Oh, it's one for the money. I still think a sudden illness, like a, like a heart attack. Keep it simple, like a car accident. Attacked by wild dogs. Electrocuted in the back. Shot by a jealous fan. Uh, Falling off the balcony. <laughs> Holy shit, what was that? Elvis! Elvis, are you alright? And sure enough, as we came round the corner, there was the king of rock and roll fallen from his throne, lying face down in the shag carpet, bare ass stuck straight up into the air, in what could not be a more unflattering position. We tried without success to revive him, and called the ambulance. He was declared dead at Baptist Memorial in Memphis. Official cause was 
cardiac arrhythmia brought on by straining at stool. And that was how I sadly said goodbye to my good friend Elvis. Well, thank you for your statement, Colonel Parker, and I truly am sorry for your loss. Much appreciated, officer, but Elvis's demise is a loss for the entire world. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a funeral service to prepare for. Certainly. It's done. Let's get you to the airport. Oh, thank you, Colonel. But I still like the ninja story better, uh-huh. I'm sure you do, but no one would believe that. Attacked by ninjas, how absurd.